Hey guys, so a few weeks ago, I tried dissolving my braces in sulfuric acid, and I don't really want to keep the leftovers just sitting around. So today, I'm going to show you an awesome reaction that takes place between sulfuric acid and sugar. But before we do this, I want to remind you that sulfuric acid is really dangerous and very corrosive, so please don't try this at home. But rest assured that all proper safety precautions were taken in this video. So now, let's go outside and do it. If you saw my braces video, you know that sulfuric acid reacts very vigorously with water as those hydrogen ions dissociate. However, concentrated sulfuric acid like I have is only 2% water, so that acid desperately wants water to react with. If we look at the structure of sugar, or sucrose as chemists call it, we see it's C12H22O11. And as you may have noticed, that has hydrogen and oxygen in it which come together to make water. In fact, they're in the perfect proportion with two hydrogens for every oxygen. That sulfuric acid wants water so badly that it'll rip apart water from the sugar molecules in order to get it. This process is called dehydration, as water is being ripped from the sugar. And this leaves behind carbon, which is that black stuff that's formed. The steam that is produced in this reaction is what causes the carbon to bubble up and form those snake-like shapes. That heat and that steam is formed as the bonds between the sugar molecules are broken and as that acid dissociates or breaks up. But this stuff is actually quite brittle, almost like cheese balls. Those formations have tiny air pockets just like the cheese puffs that are formed from the steam, but you certainly don't want to touch or eat that stuff, as it smells a lot like burnt marshmallows and it also has a lot of sulfuric acid on it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, please do like or subscribe. And once again, thanks to all my wonderful Patreons who support me and really make these videos happen. Thanks. These are actually super stale.